All right, Craftsman Palm Sander, the circular one, not the oscillating one. Here it is. Use it for about two seconds. Uh, it's a little, you know, little cheese block I got going on here. But uh, yeah, give this bad boy a whirl. I use a 120 a minute. Got it down pretty good. You know, I use it for about I don't know 10, 15 minutes, and well, I used up one notch on the battery. But this is the uh, the little guy. Yeah, the 1.5 amp hour that comes with them. Um, I believe this tool I got for free with the purchase of uh, I don't know two other things and one other thing I forget from Lowe's so uh not too bad but uh give this bad boy a whirl all right please excuse the workbench but uh yeah to clamp this bad boy down so i can hold the phone my girlfriend's in the shed uh her office she calls it so here we go <laughs> bad boy down with the 80 grit uh yeah i hit it with 120 and 240 i mean that's what it came with i'm using the uh you know came with three pads so that's what i'm going with the other side's already done i just wanted to kind of show how this thing's working but uh yeah not too bad i mean like i said these batteries that come with it aren't the greatest um you know so down to one one dot i mean it ran a good 20 minutes or so on the 1.5 amp hour on that it's pretty it's pretty good i mean i have the 4 amp hour those ones obviously work a lot better and i've found that they're comparable with the uh the walt ones that my co-workers use but uh all in all not a bad product i'd go with it especially for the price of free that i got it with or buy one and get something but uh yeah not bad Seems, you know, pretty professional grade and for uh, cheap homeowner prices, so I like it. Alright, so got this bad boy all sanded down. The one battery died out on me. I got another, um, you know, whatever, 1.5 amp hour, the ones that come with them. Like I said, I got the, uh, the 4 amp hours and those, uh, those last just with the, with the DeWalt 1 point, you know, uh, four, the DeWalt 4 amp hour one. But uh, use the battery, and this one was full. Yeah, still full. Okay, so battery, and still going strong on this whole piece here, top, bottom, side. The only thing that I seem to have an issue with is when I turn it on, it seems to turn off, and I have to either re-click it, or I'm not hitting it hard enough. But. <laughs> Yeah, see, so it turns on and then pops off. And 
rattles itself back on, but all in all, good tool. I think it costs like $45 or $48 plus tax if you buy it by itself, but like I said, I got it free with the kit. So, there it is. Not too bad. All right, and then for the, uh, for the sword does catch you. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, I see it not too well. Uh, what it is not too bad better off putting the vacuum on there if you're using it inside but don't mind my shop here people my girlfriend's in the in the shed shop garage whatever you want to call it but uh yeah there you go not too bad i am a fan yeah. all right so there she is let's hit it with some cutting board oil and uh yeah it's looking good not too bad at all. It's that Howard cutting board oil. Colorless, odorless, tasteless. But uh, yeah, stuff works pretty good. Then they got the wax you could uh, prime it with as well. I guess for the initial one, like beeswax and you know, with the mineral oil or whatever. But uh, yeah, not bad. All sanded and finished with uh, Craftsman 20 volt cordless. Looking good.